Indeed it is. Plenty of food for thought there if you're thinking of buying a new fridge anytime soon. The metal-backed versions may cost a bit more, but it really could be worth it for that extra peace of mind. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. President Obama in Washington today to discuss the damaging effects of the poaching of ivory and rhino horn. Later, he will give a speech in which he's expected to brand the illegal wildlife trade as one of the most insidious forms of corruption in the world. Our royal correspondent, Nicholas Witchell, is in Washington. Nick. The American comedian Bill Cosby has made his first stage appearance since more than a dozen women began making allegations that he'd sexually assaulted them in the 1980s and 90s. A number of protesters were outside the theatre in Canada and heckled people going in. But the show in Ontario went ahead, as our correspondent David Willis now reports. On our main story this lunchtime, one of the biggest manhunts in France's history is still underway. The two main suspects in yesterday's killings in Paris are reported to have been sighted at a service station 50 miles north of the capital. Let's return now to Christian Fraser, who is in Paris, and the police operation now very much focused north of the capital on the roads around Paris. Good afternoon and welcome to the BBC News at One. Heavy snow has been falling across northern parts of the UK. Hundreds of schools have been closed and there's been widespread disruption to roads, rail and air travel. In Northern Ireland, motorists have been warned to stay off the roads. Manchester Airport has been closed for much of the morning as teams try to clear the runways. And the snow has even caused widespread disruption to the mobile phone network. We'll be hearing from our correspondents in the worst affected areas in a moment, but first Judith Moritz on the day's snow disruption. Well, in a moment, we'll be hearing from our correspondent in Northern Ireland, Chris Butler, but first to our Scotland correspondent, James Cook, who's in Loch Maben. And how is it there? Some of our most serious illnesses occur when genes in the human body go wrong. So scientists are trying to develop a new generation of drugs that isolate, then treat the faulty gene. The drugs company AstraZeneca is leading the research, and as our science correspondent Palab Ghosh reports, they're hailing it as one of the biggest developments in the area of biotechnology in decades. If you've ever walked into the main hall at London's Natural History Museum, there is one exhibit you will not have missed. This giant diplodocus, which has towered over visitors for more than three decades. Now it's being replaced by the skeleton of a blue whale. Richard Lister explains why. Good afternoon and welcome to the BBC News at One. Tesco is to face another investigation, this time into the way it treats its suppliers. The newly created Groceries Code Adjudicator will look at allegations that the supermarket giant treated its suppliers unfairly. The inquiry has been launched in response to information submitted when the company overestimated its forecast profits by more than £260 million last autumn.